it's Michael. I love you. I know. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. Just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh huh. What the hell is this? This is for Brody. <laughs> we came, we saw, we kicked it there. Beetlejuice. 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 Showtime. It's showtime. We're live. We're live. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Nerdy Up North podcast. It's a nerdy podcast, and it's hosted by Northern Nerds. I am one of your hosts, Sam. And I am the other host, Paul. And I don't know if you want to introduce Lee, or can we call him Mario Lee? We have Lee. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. And we are waiting for a Jake to show up. He is running a little bit behind. He's busy stuck in a pipe somewhere. So hopefully, uh, he right. can he can appear some somewhere to give us some joy. But we are having. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's Jake. It's, it's the. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wario Jake. He's come to spoil the party and say, "Why was Wario not in this movie? It would have been a better." I don't know. Yes. <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, <laughs> the, the Nerdy Up North team are, are experimenting with special effects and budgets and stuff. So we are trying to do a little There's bit. No budget. No, no, no budgets. <laughs> um, the budget's getting blown next next Monday when we all meet up. Yay. Yeah. Um, so yes, uh, if we can have some feedback as well, like from you guys about the audio. So we are messing with the audio to try and get us to sound a little bit better. So if you guys, like say in the chat or online, want to tell us see how we sound or if we have any issues, just give us a shout. But yes, yeah. so, if if we all sound terrible and Paul sounds good, then <laughs> tell us about it. <laughs> it was sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> Doing my best, guys. I'm really trying. <laughs> yes. So, so Lee is wearing a child, child size Mario uh, uh, suit. Yeah, I might as well get <gasps> me Lego. <laughs> <laughs> But yes. Look at that, ladies. Yeah. That's one ladies, of the women. We're not single. Yeah. But yes. Um, Sorry, Bex. The, the, the only thing to keep uh, keep an eye on Lee is because his suit is that tight. We are worried it might lose. Uh, like I said, he might pass out at some time. So uh, we we need to keep an eye on the color of Lee's face. If he gets too red, <laughs> let us know. Or if he looks like he's getting falling asleep, let us know because we don't want Lee to die. That's the aim of the game. Um, I don't think it's going to be worrying about that. That it's not tight around those places. It's just, am I going to start speaking in a really high voice halfway through this? <laughs> <laughs> or will the hat it's start me. cutting off the, the oxygen in your brain? <laughs> but yes, um, thank you guys oh, for joining. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us again this evening. I know we had a bit of a, like a special episode that we did today, and if if you haven't checked it out, don't check it out yet until you have seen uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. It was quite a spoiler heavy episode. Um, we did have a lot of fun, and uh, we we righted a lot of wrongs, and we told the internet to fuck off quite a few times as well. <laughs> <laughs> we literally give the to the internet earlier. Yes. Uh, there was a classic Paul rant. We haven't had one of those for a while. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. <laughs> um, I think I'm quite getting mellow in me at old age or just like so getting used to it. But yeah, the internet pissed us off this weekend or over the last week, just the way they, how they behave and, and grown adults acting like ch children. Not even, not even like children. I'm not even going to give them that that repertoire. Mm -hmm. But yes, so Sammy, do you want to do your bits? Because we haven't done your bits for a while either oh, as well. Oh, we haven't, no. So guys, how mm. yous doing? And what yous been watching? Ooh, what have you been watching, Lee? I'm not changing that. It's Nick Bob. 
yes. Um, yeah, X Men ninety seven, yes. which I think I think we all have been watching that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Is there only two episodes out so far? Two, two. episodes dropped. Yes. Right. So yeah. I know I was talking to uh, Jake about it this morning when we were uh, doing a few tests. Yeah. Um, I got up the other night because I was like, oh, shit, it's out. I haven't watched it. And it, it wouldn't let us go back to sleep. So at two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I decided to watch the two episodes. <laughs> um, Amazing. Because my brain hates me. Yes. <laughs> but yes. Oh. What did you think of it, though? Anyone? Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. Right. Um. The animation's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, oh, I love it. Because new animation compared to old animation, they seem to do like a cheaper version of it. And mm-hmm. things always get a bit dumbed down, but it's still fantastic. That. The story's good. There's good mm-hmm. twists. Um, <gasps> can we, t- can we actually talk about it like in like a spoiler talk? Yeah, no, Are definitely. We allowed to do that? Yeah. 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 Might as yeah. well. Yeah. But the... yeah, like I thought. The thing I thought about animation, just sorry to touch on that, is like it it looks a little bit like Adult Swim, like Metalocalypse, kind of yeah. like flash animation. Mm. Um, but the action looks fine. It's just some parts were a little bit distracting. But then again, the old show's animation was kind of terrible for the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I don't know. Uh, it's probably just nostalgia. But no, like it, mm. it was good enough. I think animation wise, it was better than Marvel What If. Mm. I feel like it looks better than that. No, definitely. Yeah, I, I thought the I colors that. were amazing. Like I know it sounds weird oh. talking about colors, but I, everything was just so vibrant, and the mm-hmm. tones of everything was just so on the oh, 1997. Oh. And I love that they used the same opening, but just updated it. Oh. And mm-hmm. Anthony was so happy watching my 39 year old husband watching that opening mm-hmm. and just being like so giddy and happy. And I was like, oh, you melt my heart. And then at the end, when they did the ending as well, the same, mm-hmm. he was just, he was so happy. And then when they, they met, they made the official announcement that Storm was Omega mm-hmm. level mutant. He fucking flipped his shit. <laughs> like, that was so cool, yeah. And, and, honestly, if there was a table nearby, it would have been going up. He was so over the moon with that. Mm-hmm. But the anim- the animation, some of the stills, because he, they looked like they've come directly from a comic. Like Jubilee, I feel like I could picture her in a comic book. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure Magneto is the Magneto I read in Death of... The death of Magneto. It looked like the house of them to me. Is that, that was it? I, I think it's definitely it's definitely a legit outfit from mm. he's like mm-hmm. chained he's like chained to the ground on the front of like the cover it's from. Um but yeah, I I love the outfit. I know p- some people were wanting like, you know, the red and like mm-hmm. the red with the helmet and stuff, but I thought this was like the sexiest Magneto's <laughs> ever looked. I was like, yeah. Whoa, was dude. <laughs> Let's 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 talk about the sexiness of this episode as well. Because let's wear Gambit in a t- tank top. Can oh. I just can we just address yeah. this, please? Yeah. Like, I, 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 I'm a quite a straight het- heterosexual man, and I was like, look, going, oh, I quite like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be like cosplay for like that's gonna sustain cosplayers for like six years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a major. Sorry. No, go on. Sorry, go on. Oh, I was going to say, is it not made you a little bit sad that we still haven't had a live action Gambit? Not really, because he's too much closer no. character like Wolverine. So I don't think a live action one is needed. To be fair, especially when we get such good quality uh, like cartoon versions or even comic book versions. So um, I think I, they might. I think they might put this on screen at some point, though. Like mm-hmm. as in, I think they're just going to take this as the blueprint going forward, mm-hmm. which I think most people around our age are totally fine with like this is like their Mm x-men um like as far as i'm concerned like i know there's like a lot but i think this was the thing that like broke through to the mainstream like big time and like the 2001 Mm -hmm. movies and stuff but i think all the actors have kind of aged out of that at this point like from the like the movie X Men. <laughs> yeah, I love the fact that they had the uh, some of the original voice actors in there, like Storm, mm-hmm. um, Rogue. She's the um, Wolverine. Same actors from the nineties. Yeah. I absolutely adored that. They're a little they bit. Has... They were a little bit jarring, I thought, because like how how dramatic Storm. <laughs> like yeah, she even in the was. even in the early yeah. in the nineties <laughs> one, she was so dramatic. Um, but. The hell on about Gambit and that tank top online has been absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. 
and I can't count how many people actually tagged us into a video that's been going around TikTok where this guy's like, everyone's complaining that he's wearing like this tank top and the colors that he's wearing. Did you not know? Did you not check out his suit from the early, like the 90s <laughs> one? Were you not paying attention to that? <laughs> <laughs> Gambit's like suits always like weirded me out because he's got that like tube on his head where yeah. his head just pops out of the top of the tube. <laughs> if we've got a live action one, I want to see it fully done properly. I remember back in the early, like not maybe around like 2012 up to 2015 ish, there was like talks, maybe even after that, but there was talks about doing a Gambit film. And it yeah, was it's like um, Chan and Tatum. Chan and Tatum. And I was like, his head's not uh, long enough to pop out the no, tube. No. <laughs> but at the time, all I knew Chan and Tatum from was like the likes of G.I. Joe and his dance movies. And then yeah. when 21 Jump Street came don't, out, don't, like, just, my don't opinion... just diss the dance movies, the Magic Mike. Let's get out there. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, that's time I'm never getting back. I can't believe like I watched Kevin it. Nash. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, but no, and then he did 21 Jump Street, and I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. He's actually got some range. And then he did um, Tarantino's Hateful Eight. And I was like, oh, he actually can carry dialogue too. Mm -hmm. hmm, maybe my opinion's changing on this man. So I don't actually would be mad that he would do Gambit. You'd have to do it Cajun though. Yeah. Even though when I watched it in the 90s, I had no idea what a Cajun accent was. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, like Leatherhead off uh, Turtles. <laughs> but um, I don't know what it is about Gambit, but I kind of don't care so much about him mm. i like his power set yeah but i'm quite happy for uh rogue to be cheating on him <laughs> yes i'm like yeah, yeah whatever uh, let's, let's, talk, yeah. Let, let, let's talk about the like the, the the stuff that's basically caused the internet to, to burn or kick oh. off uh like say the, the relationship between magneto and rogue where mm -hmm. the scenes the internet just doesn't like that <laughs> well I don't it's know, not... though. It's weird, because, like, Rogue and Gambit always fight anyway, so I'm like, mm -hmm. well... And then he, and then she can't touch him also, which mm -hmm. must get in the way of things. <laughs> yeah. And also, isn't this, like, taken directly from the comics, the fact that they did have a relationship, or they kind of... Or he is, it be, is, it because it's, is it because it's electromagnetism or something, that he can, like, can turn it off or something like uh, that? I've got, I've got no idea, but... Um... Like, what, like, what was he... What did he say, like... He was like, I can't remember what power he used, but he, I don't know if he just like levitated everyone. He's just like, ah, it's electromagnetism. I can control anything. And I think like at a certain, at a certain point, they just turned Magneto into like, like there's nothing he can't really do. He can just create like force fields around himself, whatever he feels like, and just like yeah. make giant mechs out of like the wreckage nearby. <laughs> yeah, I am. I, well, the old uh, cartoon used to take stuff directly from the comics and was very true to the comics as well. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think going mm -hmm. forward, um, if the if it continues at this level, I am very excited for this, like this adaptation. It gives me hope as well. And I know me and Jake's talked about it before. Um, if they do the true greatest cartoon again, the Spider-Man animated series. Uh, if they did like a comeback tour, like one last season of that, that would be like so much fun. That ended on a cliffhanger as well, anyway, so it needs another season. Did it? Mm -hmm. What was what was the cliffhanger? Because I don't remember. Um, Madam Webb said that uh, she was going to help him find his Mary Jane. Oh, right. right. Let, let Let's be honest, though. Um, after Madam Webb, I don't think Madam Webb start realizing it. <laughs> hot take in a moment there. It's uh, fine if she's just an old lady on the spider web background who appears. <laughs> like that's, that's who fine. she. Is. That's how I picture her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have no intention of watching the the Sony one. That's just I am come paying out. for it. That's for no. sure. Like I might watch it one day. But <laughs> Do you, does this give you kind of hope for live action? x-men when they come back into yeah like cause, when they come into the mcu i'll tell you what i was really scared that this was going to be a bit like what if or mm -hmm. like sort of the recent tv stuff you know like secret wars and stuff where i was expecting it to be like super flat and not really have anything to say but it's like the total opposite where mm -hmm. it was really like dynamic and exciting action wise mm -hmm. and it had like loads to say like about like you know their kind of version of the world where mutants are like second class citizens and mm -hmm. there's like hate groups like militant hate groups against them and stuff and mm -hmm. magneto had like um, loads of amazing speeches where you were like you were like yeah he's right but then he was also like admitting that he was like that he'd done awful stuff mm -hmm. like he was like actually like accepting consequences 
but still like fighting his like cause, like his corner. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, it ah, so like there is people like left at Disney who are allowed to like write things. <laughs> yeah. It was dead interest and I loved well, it's it. interesting you, like, you mentioned what if as well because apparently rumors are storm's going to play a big part in uh, season three of what if yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> <I just, laughs> what if was so like weird to me i was massively disappointed that this stuck within the movie mm. like timeline yeah and nothing nothing that hadn't been shown in, in a movie showed up like no other characters like the the should have found the X Men way before because it's what if you could be like what if mm -hmm. the X Men <laughs> came through the multiverse, mm -hmm. um, but no they're just like how they just stuck to like only the actors and it was all like celebrity voices so they couldn't hire anyone new and it was mm -hmm. just like mm. this is weird I don't understand it it's yeah. not what if it's not strange enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're supposed to get like what if what if wolverine and batman got fused together in a dark <laughs> color like that's a true what if yeah <laughs> that's an amazing what if <laughs> <laughs> no i think as you said they didn't steer too far away from it and i think again marvel to the point that again i think what i feel, I feel like today i've just been slagging off marvel um <laughs> we but... yeah, we brought them up in the ghostbusters one too yeah, they've earned it they've yeah. earned it at this point yeah, <laughs> it just seems they don't know how to make like stay away or like if they keep saying they're going to make these big changes they don't make these any huge changes where you're like oh this is exciting it's kind of like oh this is the same but just telling yeah. them with different characters but yeah oh, they just they just need to strip it all back Mm -hmm. go back to the way it was previously let us have three movies a year let it all build up to something they, they don't need to mess with that blueprint they know it works mm -hmm. and it has worked yeah. i just feel at the moment we're sitting in an age of fucking iron man 3 and thor the dark world yeah. and i'm mm -hmm. fuck, i want out mm -hmm. so please marvel get me out of this and you, and you know what those movies had in common it was about like heroes having like ptsd and stuff and it's like it's like okay like that that's fine like but remember these aren't like real people mm -hmm. yeah. these are supposed to be like like super like you know crazier like better mm -hmm. than average people mm -hmm. i don't need the full movie about ptsd like no. i would like thor to have a fun adventure please <laughs> like mm -hmm. you can do the 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 sort of the aftermath in something else like they could have released mm -hmm. like comics or like you know mm -hmm. side yeah. tv shows and stuff it's like I don't know. That's yeah. not no. deep. That's just putting the main character in a weird situation. <laughs> to be fair, we want to see our heroes being heroes. And yeah. I, I, that's why I'm excited by the next phase of the Spider-Man. It's not going to be big if they do uh, a neighborhood Spider-Man. That's what I want uh -huh. to see. Spider-Man cleaning up the streets of uh, Queens or, um, or Brooklyn. And then, yeah. like, having, like, and again, having Daredevil as well, like being oh. on uh, like his area and fighting street-level thugs. Mm -hmm. gets me excited and that's what i want to see in the like, next like race. in this like in this x-men it was just a small thing but they mm -hmm. were like ah here's like the the morlocks and the sewer like mm -hmm. it was like ah oh, we were acknowledging the world is bigger and they were like here the mutant like genosha exists still mm -hmm. like but in the marvel films they're sometimes just like no it's only spider-man he's he's never going to mention any of the other heroes because it's yeah. just spider-man you're never going to see them mm -hmm. you know like in any meaningful yeah Capacity. you need to you need to respect that you've opened the world up to team ups. <laughs> you've Don't. got to just kind of pull with it. <laughs> yes. Uh, the only other thing I was going to mention as well that I've seen, uh, well, I've started watching, is The Gentleman on Netflix. The Gentleman. The Gentleman. Because I, I was a big fan of the, t the, the movie. I'm thinking what they're going to do with it. They have changed the format a little bit, but it's yeah. fucking amazing. Idiot. I've heard some good things. I just need to get past the main guy who's in it. Mm -hmm. um, he's the guy from the Inbetweeners movie. Mm -hmm. I fucking... <laughs> his face annoys me. He, nothing he's done personally. <laughs> he's probably a really good actor. I just for some reason, his face really bothers us. And I'm like, once I get past that, I'll watch it. Because I've heard such good things about it. I love the movie. Mm -hmm. I introduced it to Anth last year, and he fucking loved it. And that's not his style of movies. Yeah. Like, he, he really enjoyed it. But it's got the lass in from Skins, and she's fucking fantastic in it. She's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, can't remember her name now, because I feel bad. But yeah, it, um, 
but to, sorry to disappoint people moonshiners are still on the half half air break oh. so no, no moonshiners up, update even though goodwill has That's done a sad. nice poll for us this evening seeing who has the best beard uh and, and hopefully yeah, thanks, ho- ho- hopefully sammy wins and that, that'll make my night um, my god <laughs> i did get some people sticking up for us but then he's gone on well this is the weirdest mario review ever and it's like all right michael we'll get there <laughs> <laughs> so yes, do you want to do your disclaimer there, Sammy? Yes, okay. So, everything discussed in today's episode is our opinions and our opinions alone. If you'd like to discuss anything from today's episode, please come and join us on the Facebook group, the Discord, or the comment section, where we can have an open discussion. But what we won't have is anyone coming for us and telling us our opinions are wrong. We can all agree to disagree in fandom. So let's keep it fun, keep it kind, and keep the toxic behaviour out of a nerdism. Yes, and hopefully all the others can fuck off back to the, the little holes where they came from this morning. Um, but yes. Uh, me, and, me and Jake are sitting at 14%, right. uh, Paul at 28 and Lee at 42 How the fuck <laughs> have I gotten 14%? How am I at the same level as Jake? <laughs> <laughs> You're always fucking jealous. It's that five o'clock shadow, Sammy. That's what it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dicks. Well, for that, I'm going to give you the fucking tagline straight away because right. I can't wait any longer because these are tremendous. <laughs> I'm going to start with the worst one first. Can two plumbers save the world from going down the drain? <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they can. And the next one. Do oh, it. there's a couple. The next one is this ain't no game. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's that's the the, the most famous one I think. It oh. basically it basically encapsulates everything about like nineties video game well, movies. The next one has that this ain't no game. It's a live action thrill ride <laughs> straight after, and then where the game ends, the movie begins. It's <laughs> not true. And the next one <laughs> is a <laughs> it's just so I can't even say this a bright glamorous extravaganza mm-hmm. <laughs> no it's not bright either it's really la- dank <laughs> no, it's really dank and fungi and the yeah. next one is anything is possible you just gotta believe in it and that's what this film is all about is i really wanted to believe in it <laughs> I really did. um but yes um so yes, this was an interesting f- uh, uh, memory back down. Uh, sorry, interesting trip back down in memory lane. I'll try and get yeah. the words out right. Um, <laughs> I remember watching this as a kid and being so excited. And it was one of the ones that I got from the What Man in the White Van. I come up and got a videotape. It was like uh, Super Mario Brothers. It was like, oh, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Wow! Oh, get, it, get in the van. I've got to get Mario <laughs> Brothers. No, hey, look, Lou Albano's in here. <laughs> get it. Shake your arms from side to side. <laughs> I feel sorry for Jake because you probably weren't like you're a lot younger than us, so you probably mm-hmm. didn't get the mm-hmm. initial. Uh, 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 don't say uh, that. Uh. I went to the theater to see this movie. <gasps> you went to the theater. <laughs> you went yeah. to the theater. <laughs> yeah, the old Sunderland cinema. Um, I probably did not have to line up around the block uh, thinking about it. <laughs> they just uh, let you straight on the. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a Jurassic Park day or anything. <laughs> um, oh. No, like because. Uh, because basically when I was uh, younger, my mom used to work in a, a call center. So she had to do like a evening shift sometimes. Mm-hmm. And my dad's idea of like looking after me, like, oh, no, we need something to do. And I lived like mm-hmm. maybe a five minute walk from like Park Lane and stuff where the cinema r- was roundabout. Mm-hmm. So like that was the spend time together like you know Mm -hmm. like father son bonding was going to see (laughs) all of the worst stuff of the 90s pretty much (laughs) because it was like it was like this um uh, Uh, richie rich i remember yeah power rangers the movie i think i saw that on a weekend but like my dad tried to get me into mortal Kombat and street fighter but they wouldn't let us in so there was a couple of times we had to go see like alternate movies like that was how we saw richie rich which was friggin awful um wasn't there like a dennis the menace movie it was was the american dennis though with the blonde hair and mr wilson next door (laughs) Yes. yes. Um, so yeah, like this was in oh, and Stargate as well. The Stargate movie. I saw that in the theater around this era. <laughs> so it's just, it's just a, a cavalcade of weird sci-fi movies. And I think like this 
categorize it is a sci-fi movie oh, okay. it's not a it's not a good sci-fi movie but it totally goes like that uh like down there with it mm -hmm. but yeah like i don't think i liked it as a kid because i was like this isn't mario <laughs> no this is weird like, like, <laughs> like, where's, where's the pipes where's the mushrooms where's yeah. all the cute little animals at it wasn't even this thing behind me like the super mario brothers <laughs> super show mm -hmm. where it was like these guys hanging about in doing plum and stuff and by the way guys elvira is a guest on this show at some point uh so you can get footage of like luigi yeah, being like Cassandra oh my Peterson. god elvira. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like it, it had like nothing from the video games that was recognizable in a good way um mm. and yeah like I, I definitely didn't like it but i had like a 3d poster that I must have gotten a magazine where you had like little 3D glasses, like dinosaur themed 3D glasses, oh, wow. and you looked at this poster that's behind us in 3D. <laughs> and they're just pointing at you constantly. I think it had I think it had that that tagline on about like um like this ain't no game or whatever. It's a live action thrill ride. I'm pretty sure that was on the poster. I was <laughs> when I was looking for the taglines earlier, I was getting so confused because obviously you've got the mm -hmm. animated one and you got this one. And mm -hmm. the animated tagline was so much better than this <laughs> one. It's let's go. <laughs> How long did it friggin' take though? Like that that should have been our Mario movie. Like obviously yeah. it would have been a cartoon, like a drawn cartoon. I mean, but that should have been what we saw. That, <laughs> like... There's a, there's reasons behind that, and it's be it's because <laughs> Nintendo were like, you, this did so bad. Nintendo refused to hand over the license for so mm -hmm. many years, thirty years. They refused. They were really funny about other licenses as well. Um, but yeah. this one in particular, so when the animated series came, the animated film idea came along, they liked it because they knew, you know, they weren't going to, it wasn't going to be a live action one. They were That's like, ah, the, the Minions movies are <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. so No, it was yeah. really good, though. I'm not, I can't, like, crap on the new movie. It was really good. <laughs> like, I loved every second of it. I, I said to Anton Saturday when I, we were leaving the cinema, I was like, I need to go home and I need to watch uh, the new, I need to watch the Super Mario Brother. And he's like, oh, watch the i'll watch that movie with you and i was like yeah i mean the 90s one he was like yeah i don't want to watch that i was like you'd be <laughs> so disappointed <laughs> funny enough my wife did, had the same response i was like oh we'll watch the, we'll watch the mario <laughs> brothers movie she went oh is that the cartoon one i'm not a big fan of the cartoon i went no no it's, it's the bob hoskins one she went I'm not watching I'm that. Out. She went, I'm, I'm not watching it. You go upstairs and watch it. Um, I actually never even heard of it. I just showed her the trailer and she was just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Bless her. She's did very it, direct. Did it, really ups did it really upset you? Because obviously this, this movie is not aimed at me and I wasn't a Nintendo girl. Um, mm -hmm. Did it really disappoint you as kids to get that like, you were getting a lead up to a movie that you, you know, a video game that you had played and then you got this? Yeah, and Bear in mind, you know, how, like, you guys are always mentioning, uh, like, the trailers ruin everything um, mm -hmm. now. Like, we couldn't just watch a trailer then. I might not have even seen a trailer. This might have yeah. just been, like, based on poster alone or, like, you know, <laughs> something in a magazine, like, on the Radio Times or something. There was no guarantee mm -hmm. you actually saw, like, an actual trailer before you saw something. <laughs> so I think this was sight unseen. Um mm -hmm. But yeah, it was weird for the 90s because there was no toy line because it was so bad. There was just nothing afterwards. So mm -hmm. I think that we was... all just forgot about it as kids. Like we weren't like we weren't angry and shouting about stuff as kids, like being like, this is inaccurate. Oh. Toy yeah. 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 Well, there was no, well, uh, there was no uh, uh, toy line. Where's my fucking power boots? Well, this, <laughs> is what I was asking, this is what I was asking Ant when the movie finished. I was like, because we've done a few movies around this kind of, like when we did Batman and such, yeah. and mm. we've done it around this era, and I was like, did they intend on not doing toys beforehand? Because normally, like, the toys <laughs> is kind of like enrolled in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. did you get anything afterwards? And he was like, nah, nothing mm. came out after this. And I was like, oh, I think it was just that's a big, weird. A bit of a shock because the as i said when they made it they thought it was going to be this big colorful bright and um, mm. like say mario movie it's like it's probably the same feeling i had as when i saw the masters of the universe movie yes uh, it's very similar to that if you like mm. sort of take vibes and like how it disappointed everyone <laughs> um <laughs> but they did have a toy line after the master of the universe because um yeah. i think because well to be honest he-man was a toy before actually the cartoon and stuff it was, it was anything else <laughs> yeah but um i remember watching it and thinking what like didn't really understand anything that was going on um 
I've, I've I got bet you were really scared when it first loaded up on the copy tape because it's like it's blurry. It's that like blurry yeah. sort of computerized thing. So I bet you were like, "Oh crap, Shit. this is gonna be terrible." <laughs> but, to be fair, though, most of the stuff I was used to being like video cam from the cinema, I was just waiting for someone yeah. to walk in front of the camera shot uh, at times. But, um, but like, is, it's front. it's blazing how much the rip off Jurassic Park in that intro. They were like, "Can we can we do the 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 Mr. DNA man?" And it's like, I guess you, we can. Do you know who's narrating the movie at the beginning? No. It's Homer Simpson. It's oh, Dan, Dan, Dan Castellano. <laughs> I saw yeah. him in something else recently. So um, let... I think he, he's in Space Jam as well. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so I'll start with a really positive thing that I found about the movie. I thought it was okay. really mm. nice and really sweet that they used the actual Mario theme to start the movie. Yeah. So ends, yeah. surprising. ends the positivity, yeah. but it's no, sorry. <laughs> um, no, this, do you know what this movie is inspired by? Does any of, any of you want to hazard a guess? Please, what? Say, it two was a, movies. please say it was the two... dinosaurs TV show. Battlefield no. Earth. Was that out? Movies. <laughs> this, the, this was directly inspired by one of them is Paul's favorite movie of all time, the other is mine. Okay, go. <laughs> Goonies and Ghostbusters. Go... No, the I other one. Blade Runner or something like that. <laughs> From like the dystopian. <laughs> you got shit. Ghostbusters. Let's take that one. The right. second one was The Wizard of Oz. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they were inspired by them two movies. What to drugs make were this they one. on when they watched The Wizard of Oz? Well, Cause, yeah. the, the directors were a husband and wife team. And if you go and read any interview from Bob Hoskins, Dennis Hopper, around mm-hmm. the evening John Leguizamo's um, autobiography, they talk about the shit show dynamic between these this husband and wife team who were literally trying to outdo each other every day <laughs> to where the, one would bring a script in, to where another one would bring another one in. And it was just really rewrite after rewrite shot deleted after shot taken Mm. and that this is why bob hoskins and john Leguizamo kind of got a bit of a drinking problem during this movie because all they did was get fucking (laughs) hammered yeah you can't tell though like when you look at when you look at the footage of that no they look stone cold sober don't they (laughs) (laughs) that's the sign of a good actor right there (laughs) massively but they had a nickname for this this husband wife duo Mm -hmm. (sighs) I'm going to drop the C bomb. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it was the cunt and the cow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you imagine Bob Hoskins saying that? I can. <laughs> yeah. Do you know like Dennis his... Hopper would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, days when they were shooting with Dennis Hopper, they would drag him in on their drinking. And like, listen, mate, it just gets you through the day. Let's go. Yeah. Um, but his son Bob Hoskins son after he like Bob Hoskins always said this is the worst thing he ever did yeah like, he did it for he did it for reasons he thought were going to be what we were we thought we were getting and it, and it really wasn't but his son did a whole like one man tour after he died of like I understand you all really dislike this movie and for good reason but can you just have a look at my dad's acting mm-hmm. he's and just excellent tell, isn't he and tell me how amazing he is actually and he broke his, his dad's acting down as in it was so i was reading mm-hmm. all about it a day really interesting and when i watched the movie i was like fucking hell bob hoskins is really fucking good in this uh-huh. so so let's try and get the plot of this movie as well so it's dead easy it's, it's easy <laughs> so, on the jig. so basically because if you think about the Mario Brothers, like if you think about the Egg. game side of things, it, it everything makes sense. Like it's it's fun. It's 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 basically Mario saving the princess. That's that's yep. basically the game. This movie they try to copy that, but instead they overcomplicate by saying a meteorite hit the Earth, and instead of ki- <laughs> killing the dinosaurs, sent them into an alternative universe mm-hmm. where where, where the tagline, well, not the tagline, the voiceover guys just goes. Goodbye, dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, and you're like, okay. Oh. Um, and then, like I say, the, the dinosaurs, people that have evolved, have used up all uh, the re- of their world's resources, and they want to get into mm-hmm. our world's resources, uh, world to use our resources. And mm. um, yep, they've changed Princess Peach to Princess Daisy. Yep. Which yeah. was choice. Um, Which is the wrong print the wrong princess. She's not from Mushroom Kingdom. No. And then, <laughs> and then like it's this the meteorite's still there and to get through this temporal void or the uh, the temple pass, they need to get the connect the meteorite and make it whole because it's a super special meteorite. Mm-hmm. A super special. Yeah. Yeah. And they get like say 
so yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't yeah. forget, don't forget about the egg getting left in the orphanage. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> with the I baby was inside. so confused. I was like, why are they putting a cr crystal in a baby? Oh, that's not a baby. Yeah. Say, oh no, wait, that's an egg. Mm -hmm. Um, before we delve into the 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 nitty gritty of this movie, do you know who was meant to play Mario and Luigi? No. <laughs> so the Mario was going to be Danny DeVito. Oh, that, no notes. <laughs> Imagine, so and, I went in bed with two guns just shooting. <laughs> pew, pew. Um, the second in the in Luigi, this really, really shocked me. Um, it was Tom Hanks. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, no, it was, it was but listen, that. hear me out. Listen, hear me out. So it was Tom Hanks, but the studio said, we don't want him. And the reason they didn't want him is because at the time, studio, because Turner and Hooch was such a big disappointment. <laughs> and Joe, and the Joe versus the Volcano was an absolute flop budget, like money wise. Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks was not touched by studios in that way at the time. They, so like, they, they didn't want him. <laughs> and then he goes and does Philadelphia straight away. And it's like, oh, he did okay. He was fine, guys. <laughs> he, he made the right choice in life, I think. Yeah, he really did. But yeah, it was Tom Hanks and Danny DeVito. Was meant to be your Mario and but, Luigi, but yeah, that's but that's excellent. quite, but that's quite an interesting one because my my take of this movie is Mario isn't the lead, Luigi yeah, it's is like a Luigi or... movie, yeah. Imagine Mario getting the girl at the end of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that Mario got a lot of women in this <laughs> movie. Yeah. Mario wasn't doing too bad on the women's side of things. He was I getting... know. When, he like, was when fine. he has that nice dinner with his like uh, girlfriend and he's all like mm -hmm. suited up, and I'm, I'm like, I'm watching a different movie now, but I'd, <laughs> ra I'd rather watch this movie than... Absolutely suited and booted. Oh. But then he gets um, Bertha as well, gets a good yeah. little smooching off her. Yeah. I, like how I, her. I like how I taught you that character while you were on the stream <laughs> with me. I was like, that fish, that's Big Bertha. <laughs> 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 I was not. I was not confused. Um... <laughs> but I, I just want to make one hot take as well, because because one mm. of the things is to get the lizard people to come onto our world, even though no one can get through, but they managed yeah. to do it uh, to pit steal women that they thought they were princess. <laughs> so like there was this crime wave of women dis of of young ladies disappearing. Yes, uh, and... which is super fucked up when you think about it. Yes. Yeah, massively. <laughs> so the duo is Iggy Coop. Iggy, Iggy Cooper and oh, Spike Cooper. I, I, uh, I, I, duo, I wasn't going to remember the names. I've not I've wrote them it. down because the, the duo is Fisher Stevens and Richard Edson. And Fisher Stevens is a fucking amazing actor, amazing director as well. And I want, I want to see a movie with just them two. But just can, them two. But can I just say because I've again, seen the actual characters from the game. Yeah. <laughs> can I just say as well? We've we've. We've seen sneaky people. We've seen Jane, Silent Bob walking past people whistling and no one noticing. These two people were as subtle as Donna and Nicole <laughs> as they were walking down the street trying to hide and hide away, like oh hide behind bags. I remember that. It, it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. I was like, if anyone was walking down the street and like not noticing that they would get followed by these two creeps, they deserve to get stolen. Like, I'm sorry. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's just. Why are victim blaming? Um, I didn't give a fuck. Watch the movie. <laughs> Watch the movie. No, them, two, them two are such bumbling idiots, but Fisher Stevens is just fucking phenomenal. Mm. He's been mentioned a few times on Monsters because um, he's just, he's everywhere. He's such a good fucking actor. I like how there's a... to get stolen anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, she was getting followed by those guys, stopped to use the phone, mm -hmm. and then Mario and Luigi stand in the most creepiest way, staring at her. <laughs> she's using the phone like, hey, look at that girl over there. And then she walks over and she's like, oh, do you want... Do you they go, oh, do you want to get in the van? And it's such a dodgy looking van. It just needs to say free puppies on the side or, or free DVDs or whatever. Hey, that's the white van. And they're just like, yeah, fine, let's get in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and oh, while well, that's happening, she looks over and there's a guy. She looks at the guy reading a paper saying, Women going missing in the area. She's like, oh, I'm just going to go and jump in this stranger's van. <laughs> Yeah, just because yeah. Luigi, I was smooth. Let's give it. Luigi was a smooth motherfucker. So yeah, um, and it's not. It's not the Scapellis or anything. Yeah. You, know, you can trust the Mario brothers. <laughs> but you friendly, have to admit, Mario give it twenty five cents. So like, I mean, yeah. Luigi or oh, Luigi Mario. Oh fuck the names. Mario Mario, Mario, yeah. Luigi, Mario, Mario, <laughs> Luigi Mario. I do love the fact that she had to go and look for a phone. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. So well, you no did back then. Yeah. <laughs> I know are you forget, and I love that the actress who plays um, Princess Daisy is Samantha Mathis. Mm -hmm. Um, if nobody knows Samantha Mathis, she so she was in a relationship with John Leguizamo when she was doing this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she did a movie called what was it called? The Thing Called Love, right. starring River Phoenix. All right. She is she is the woman who was with River Phoenix the night he died. So no. she was the girlfriend at the time. She was there the night, and it's only been in 2018. She's never spoke about this publicly. She literally left the country to get away from everyone, and it wasn't oh. until 2018 she finally spoke up about it. Can I just say that was probably the longest reach Sammy's getting to try and get death mentioned on a podcast. <laughs> 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 She's like, I'm going to go on this tangent just so I can get the funeral of River Phoenix in. <laughs> oh, the death of River Phoenix. Why don't do funerals? Um, Are you sure she didn't go back to the Mushroom Kingdom for 18 years, go. though? <laughs> That's yes. where she could have stayed. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I do like that they try, as, as Jake pointed out, that they try to keep a lot of the names from the characters of the games in throughout this mm. film. Probably not in the way that we've seen them before or we ever want to see them again. Like No, like it's not right and they just sort of pick random they must have just went through like the instruction booklet and picked random mm. enemy names and like that was that's fine. Because like I think like I I Iggy is one of Cooper's like mm. sons, I guess, or Cooper Lings, mm. whatever they are. But Spike is just a regular enemy who throws spike balls at you. <laughs> like, on, like <laughs> there's like thousands of him on the level. <laughs> I think they've done that for the whole film, not just the names of the people. It's like, oh, yeah. the Mushroom Kingdom. So there's like His fungus toad. all over the place. <laughs> Let's just put hanging fungus around. And like, yeah. oh, it's two plumbers. Well, they're actually doing plumbing work, and mm. yeah, like it has to factor into the story <laughs> that the entrance to like the thing is in like the sewer pipes of the city, which I guess they oh. did in the new one. Oh, this guy's sort of a dinosaur-like person. Let's make everyone dinosaurs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, fungus kind of reminded us of something, and the only thing I can place it to is the creepy, slimy stuff in Poltergeist. Like that's <sighs> when I was looking at, it, I was like, "You remind me. How can a fungus remind you of something?" But yeah, I could just got pulled against vibes going throughout that. To be fair, just look like the egg you get in egg fried rice. Um, but... <laughs> oh well, I'm never gonna eat that again. <laughs> yeah, like what? What do you think? What do you think the thought process was by making this one of the most disgusting looking movies like of all time? <laughs> like, it, it it's virgin on like horror. Like you know, yes. like yeah. like, oh. like the place you would set like a horror movie in. <laughs> yeah, but, like grandmas and fucking whatever kind of gun it is that she. With an Uzi, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wanted. Just I would like, have put that like the old lady that come in was just like, oh, I'm all sweet and innocent. But you knew it was foreshadowed that she was going to be an absolute <laughs> monster. But but them guns, it wasn't even like a gun. What was it like? It was like an electronic rod or something like that. But yeah, or something. <laughs> but that, but that's the thing. Uh, sorry, I was just going to say, and there's a whole thing about like evolution, devolution oh, stuff it's... going on. It's like. Where it's did like, that come uh, from? I don't know, but like Cooper's like, oh, you know, if dinosaurs were allowed to evolve, they would be me, like the perfect, <laughs> like <laughs> the perfect <laughs> organism. And like, why? Like he's constantly making himself all like muddy and stuff. Oh, he has that weird stuff on his hands in one scene. Oh. Like, what? What's he even doing? Because mud is love... dirty and clean all at the same time. Yes, and he's a germ <laughs> form as well. Yeah, yeah. I love his uh, mannerisms throughout. Like he, he stands like like that, like. <laughs> He's like talking like with these little T-Rex arms. Because he's a little dinosaur, that's why. <laughs> Could you imagine though trying to direct Dennis Hopper in this movie and just saying, look, no. uh, like I know you've done some iconic movies like uh, Blue Velvet and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. you, you've been a really bad guy. Like, you've, you've scared a lot of kids and stuff like that. Now we want you to play a half human, half dinosaur who's a germaphobe who loves playing in mud. And then de evolves and evolves things at, at, at will. Yeah. Dennis Hopper must just went, What the fuck? Oh, just give me money. Just I'm, give me money, please. Yeah. At least I'm getting paid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he has to hang around with uh, that lady who ended up in like Harry Potter and stuff and is oh, also it's... in Andor, <laughs> like, which is like <laughs> so different of a performance. Like Aunt Petunia. <laughs> Aunt Petunia, yeah. yeah. Um, <sighs> Her say, outfits man, her... kick ass in this movie. That's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Her costumes were fuck. The costumes in all of it actually mm -hmm. was so pretty phenomenal. I went and had yeah. a look at the guy who was the costume maker, and it's not a he name I recognised. <laughs> yeah, didn't, didn't he? Like, but the suit was fucking unreal. Oh, the one with the spikes all over. Yeah, yeah but. 
everyone had like some formation of spikes on yeah, their yeah. outfits. It almost gives us a lot of uh, Gautier vibes, like the um the, mm. the, the, the PVC kind of look. Yeah. Of it. But it was not him. To be um, fair, it was very <laughs> 90s. It was very much stuff of the 90s. It was yeah. like 90s club kids and stuff like that, aspects to it. Um, I loved... I'm trying to think of the things I love. Uh, the animatronic. You don't, <laughs> that... you don't have to. It can just be interesting. <laughs> um, the the anim... I've, I see a big up to the animatronics because let's be honest, the CGI in this was terrible. Like, like when they went through mm. the the portal, it almost looked like a Windows uh, screensaver of the time, where it was like yeah. morphing into it. But the dinosaurs and everything. Um, some of the dinosaurs, the animatronics was up there with Jurassic Park. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put that on record and see it. Like uh, Yoshi, Yoshi was, was adorable. I wonder how they got a Yoshi like animatronic. <laughs> like, do you think they did they find it like an old He's... Spielberg machine? They're like, ah. And that I'm was, that, sure, was, that, was sure that was the budget they've... of the movie that went on that. It was right yeah. in Yoshi. I don't know how the um, how the animatronics worked on that, but I know I know there's a lot of pulley strings involved with them. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what I was reading earlier. The animatronic side of things were really complicated. It wasn't like when we did Turtles and it was just, you know, we yeah. had a head, to, a head to deal with. It was a whole, mm -hmm. like, body in some circumstances. And I was like, that is too complicated. Like, for I don't, like, I don't think you can do live action Yoshi, but, like, well, mm -hmm. like, based on what they knew at the time, which was Super mm -hmm. Mario World had only just came out. <laughs> and mm -hmm. But then most of the other references are from Super Mario 3. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, like what? Like it wasn't fun. Like I didn't like mm. that he was chained up the whole movie and didn't no. do anything. Like, he got like stabbed, that's that's, he? that's that... not what the kids want to see. Yeah, I don't want to no. see him get stabbed either. <laughs> and Petunia stabbing him, the bitch. <laughs> and she got fucking fried. <laughs> and she still she got, the, she got the ha no, she got the um, the Home Alone treatment. <laughs> yeah, she, she did. That was such a. I love the fact that her hair was even part of it. Like, yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> We are, uh, I think she survived being electrocuted and she turned into the Bride of Frankenstein and mm -hmm. then uh, she got turned into a fossil. So, can't, so her... you can't knock her down, man. No? <laughs> can't keep that woman down. <laughs> but you almost felt like she was going to be like a good guy because she was like kind of mentioned that she was friendly with a, a, a I was kept wanting to call her Peach, but Daisy's mother. And then mm -hmm. she turned and flipped and went all get super bitch evil and stuff like that. Yeah. But, and you know what? You know what was actually pretty cool as well? Like the like the relationship that the stolen people had, because one of them was mm. like Mario's like oh, is like date's friend or something, wasn't it? Or like mm. a sis like a cousin or something. And like she was like looking after the group of kidnapped people and trying to like stage a breakout. Those were actually like some well written like yeah like mm -hmm. kidnap scenes like <laughs> like you kind of you it's the weird thing about this movie you kind of get sucked in for like a few seconds and mm -hmm. then they just totally ruin it with like something really bad like straight away like the goombas walking oh, the goombas oh, <laughs> the, like, there was elements that was done so well like the the lawyer scene where Cooper's pretend to be a lawyer. That is yeah. great. That is a great scene. And Dennis, it's Hopper, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, and Dennis Hopper plays it out perfectly, but it doesn't play out long enough. It's over too quick. Yeah, and then Dennis Hopper goes back into like King, uh, not King Cooper, President Cooper mode, and yeah. it's just so bad shit like out there and it's like you can tell he's just like saying right i'm just either going to be he could have either phoned it in and just went played it dead but he he went over the top and just chewed the scenery he which oh he hammed it right up like whenever you because like i'm sure like isn't the part where he like grabs a hold of like bob hoskins and stuff when or like when he's in those scenes like i think whenever you see actors like grabbing on to each other like when it's <laughs> like it's not necessary like you know like bad shit's going on <laughs> behind the scenes and they just want to be like out of the scene so bad that they're getting so like desperate just to just, just, make it end <laughs> just, yeah, cut, yeah. just cut this bit um <laughs> But yeah, like there's so many. Like uh, I wanted to have fun, and there was fun elements. As Lee pointed out before, the shoes, the shoes were absolutely brilliant. I loved the idea, not the let's see the technical use of the shoes, because mm. I don't know. Like fair enough, if you if it's going to fire up in the air, I don't know how it slows you down as you're coming back down. So it's like almost like yeah. a floating. But and like if I was making this movie, I probably wouldn't have been putting like Bob Hoskins on like a wire and like shooting him across like the sound stage. <laughs> it just sounds like a recipe for like an accident. Oh, that um, that sound stage that they used is reused in The Crow. All right, <laughs> no way. Yeah, 
And there was another film as well, and I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it was The Crow. Please tell us it was Judge Dredd, because that this film just looked and felt like the Stallone Judge Dredd, like down to like elements yeah. and like even the scenes. <laughs> it wasn't, but I will find out what the movie is. Just keep talking. That's fine. But yeah, like and how how dumb is it that like like the Meg Toad is in, in some oh. like un, like he's some like sort of like. C-list <laughs> musician or something like a freedom, <laughs> like not even a freedom fighter. He was like a, a like a rebellion singer or something. He didn't like get very far, did he? Because he got all, arrested. Yeah, and the only thing that could make to like, like they just gave him like big rockabilly hair, and it's like ah, it's Toad. It's like what are you talking about? Like you don't have to call him Toad. Like you can be a different character. It doesn't like add anything to it. <laughs> well, to be fair, poor um, Toad though, but they're. Just become the gumbas as well, because his head all stretched. But <laughs> by the CGI. <laughs> One of the things I know the there. movie. Okay, what was the movie? It was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, at least, at least it was made into something that yeah. made money, shall we say? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like the the D L evolution, I wanted to talk about this as well because oh, okay. the idea behind it, I like the idea. I just don't mm -hmm. understand when they got turned into the Gumbas, and I thought the Gumbas looked funny as fuck. Probably not, not they're probably supposed to be like quite imposing, but why did when they got de evolved, did they all grow like about 10 foot big? Because normally everyone's like normal size, and yeah. then when as soon as they go there, because it's only the heads in it, it's in the thing, they de evolve the head, and the head shrinks, mm -hmm. and they grow about seven foot. The design work of them is pretty impressive. I quite like it. I don't know why. I just think there's something quite superimposing about them. And I'm like, oh, you could come across really, really creepy or really, really funny. It just depends on your facial expression. I quite yeah. liked it. It wasn't yeah. until watching it the other day that I realized that there were like actually dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And I think it might be because as a kid, the quality wasn't as good. And no. I thought they just had like, like a diglet kind of head <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like it's like the thumb? I, I guess they were trying to thumb. do goombas and koopa troopers mm -hmm. but they settled on like little like tiny dinosaur heads and then like the goomba head <laughs> like the realistic goomba which no nobody wanted to see i um, i must have um i must have flaked out for a second because I, I don't get the dancing part of it Oh, oh when they like rock them all together. <laughs> Is it just because they're really stupid? Yeah, it's just... I think that's the thing that de evolved the brain, don't they? Because yeah. he evolves Iggy and Spike's brain at some point. Yeah, yeah and they become super duper intelligent. And it's yeah. fucking, fucking hilarious. Any scene with them two win, man. And I was then they become up. good yeah. because they realize yeah. that Cooper's wrong because they're not stupid. <laughs> the thing with Cooper as well, because he gets de evolved to the Jurassic Age at one point, and I thought, oh, this is going to be quite interesting. And all mm -hmm. you see is a little eye change, and that's the last that's ever mentioned. Yeah, yeah, like it takes a few like blasts to like mm. make him a, a full on good <laughs> what you tile. see to our <laughs> our, our left here. <laughs> yes, as it looks like he's gonna chew on Lee, he's gonna eat Lee now. So yes, damn you, Mario! Um, had, like you know what you showed the trailer for this, like you put it in one of our shorts, and mm. I don't think I'd probably like sat and watched it for a long time, but like I could not believe that they show the actual Cooper footage, and it's mm. like that's your big thing in the movie yeah. and you only see it for like five seconds tops and they show it in the trailer like what like, there's nothing left to see it's just I, like, I, I even think... in the 90s they were ruining movies but yeah. no no i just think they didn't have any faith in this movie at all so when yeah. they cut the trailer it was like we've got to show <clears throat> all the big shots or the big elements that we've done to try yeah. and entice them in and because even like the little in jokes and stuff like the bubba bu bomb was yes so, walking around all the time so, so bad <laughs> oh it was, that was terrible let's be honest the, the bullet for one of the guns as well was yeah, the, yeah. Um, <laughs> jake what are they called bullet bill <laughs> uh, bullet yes. bill <laughs> <laughs> was, that was for the boots, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was the, for the boots. It was like in the boots, uh huh. I even yeah. recognised them. I was like, ah, I know that. Because <laughs> like, um, like the the bob arm as well. Like we all had those toys as kids. They did not walk in a straight line. No. The ones with the two legs that like rolled <laughs> around each yeah. other. They yeah. just would wander off in random <laughs> random directions. <laughs> and one of the best, like, must be the best fuses ever in the world. Like it was about uh -huh. this big, and it lasted half an hour. So, <laughs> but I liked I liked how I liked yeah. how everyone was terrified of it though. Yeah, because it was, it was like, like a, it was like a thermal detonator in Star Wars or something. <laughs> like everyone's terrified. <laughs> and, and again, this is probably just like a plot hole as well because 
the big what the, plot holes in this movie no um, <laughs> the big reveal is uh, the fungus that's all around uh mushroom king is the old king that was de-evolved yep. to to fungus it yep. took me a long time to realize that i'm not gonna lie but it was in because when they say the gumbas got de-evolved they become stupid so yes. turn into a fungus you don't have any brain matter at all but no. it was super intelligent. He was he blocked out the utilities and uh, was basically killing. Well, not kill, well, yeah, killing these people because uh, Cooper was in charge. He was yeah. helping Mario and Luigi all the way through, and like in a multitude of different ways and things. Mm-hmm. How can a fungus think like that um, though? It was like because it's Lance Hendrickson. <laughs> oh god was that the Thank biggest you waste Mario Brothers <laughs> that, was the, line. that was the biggest waste he, he must have thought out, of, out of all the things to ask about this film I, I, the last thing I'm asking is why can the fungus think <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it until the end and then he's like Luigi's going oh he's been helping you the whole time and I'm like what? <laughs> how? And how oh. disgusting is the thing that they like talk to? Where it's just like get, yeah, like out of the hole <laughs> in the it's ceiling. An honor, it's an oh. honor, yes, sir. It's, it's just like, like a bogey. It's, <laughs> it's one of the worst. Like it's one of like the grossest special effects I think I've ever seen. Like it's worse than like body well, horror I, stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry for this, but it was just a fungal hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. So, so, so Lee, have you been checked out by the dongo, uh, doctor? <laughs> like, like Are you talking Cooper. from experience? <laughs> oh, oh, Are we playing Doctor Mario now? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, call back there. See, I did a funny, but yeah, he did. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't like lump that in somewhere, oh, somewhere. like in the movie. <laughs> but the amount of time that Bob Hoskins used like a like his belt or his tool to oh, fix something, no. um, when they were flying down doing the the Goonies routine going down the slide uh, <laughs> and being chased by the gumbers it's just so bad there's so much it's so funny though when the, that, that whole ride is amazing i, I want to all i kept thinking of is i've been down the stairs on a blanket before because they had the mattress <laughs> kind of like tilted up and i was like I've, it doesn't work out the way that you think it's going to in your head so that's going to come forward at some point yeah. but it was the when they came out of the sewer and they're flying across the city <laughs> on a CGI fucking dream, and then they're on the strings, and it's like <laughs> it was so weird, but it was so funny, and it was fun. I actually quite enjoyed that bit. Uh, the, the bits that kind of like I know you're not meant to like because it's it's a kids' film. That's what you got think, but it was very dark. Yeah, it's, it's supposed it, to be uh, dark. Was yeah, it? but the, but then. Luigi jumps and he's like, "Hey Mario, it's okay, I'm floating. Jump with me, Mario." It's like, "We're there. You've got a hook in the back. You can't feel that. You've got a fucking hook in your back." I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. but you're a dick. <laughs> be riding up in the crotch region, yeah. Spider-Man says. Well, you feel it when you jump. <laughs> yeah. And then Mario jumps and go, go falls, and the fungus saves him again by creating yeah. a trampoline. And then, mm-hmm. Mar- then Luigi catches him, and I'm sorry. John Luago, you're not that strong. Bob Hoskins would kill you if you try to catch <laughs> yeah, him. Bob Hoskins are flat, yeah. <laughs> it's so sad that they, the likes of Bob Hoskins and uh, Dennis Hopper did this movie for their children. Yeah, because like so it, it's it's a tough one because there's like a long history of people being in kids movies mm. and then it paying for like you know mansions or just like residuals for the rest of your life. Yeah, but. It's always a roll of the dice, isn't it? Because you could yeah. end up in something awesome, or you could end up in like this, or like it's... Street Fighter or something. Um, and I it's can't... like, it's like, yeah, fair enough. It, you know, like remember David Cross? Like he did yeah. that album, the Chipmunks movie, for a payday, mm-hmm. and got lucky because that could have horribly bombed, but for some reason it was decently popular. Um... And then everyone gets good paydays, but this mm-hmm. was one of those like bad, like you know, gambles. <laughs> uh, Redford, what's his name? The guy in um oh god I can't think of his name now, never mind. Robert oh, Redford. <laughs> Robert Redford. That's it. He did Winter Soldier just because mm. just because his kids love Marvel movies and he yeah. was like he just wanted to be kind of a part of it and he was in Winter Soldier. So that's a safe, safe payday. I feel like yes. Marvel movies. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kate Blanchard with uh, Thor. She did it for her kids as well. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I wish I wish I had that option. <laughs> <laughs> just busy to choose. I'm just doing it for myself now. <laughs> just, just, just going. Like, can I do a kids movie? I'll just be a hell not the goddess of death. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'd let me. <laughs> 
but yeah um <laughs> then we come to like the face off between um where the start the worlds have started merging and, the and they do they do get their outfits eventually, don't they? Oh they get yes, the, but the, they don't the even explain it though. That that's no. the thing. <laughs> it's kind of like they go in the lockers and go. And Bob Hoskins, Mario goes, "Hey Luigi, I've got something. It's gonna be great." Yeah. Why did they need a change? Just find out. Uh, well, yeah, like this is this is like a symptom of like nineties, and to be honest, even it goes it goes further than that, like into Marvel stuff, like when they're not brave enough to just have them in the suits and it's like yeah. you know everyone wants to see the suit we don't mm. want it for like 20 minutes at the end like we want it for like the full movie because yeah. like that's the character um so i'm glad they didn't do that in the new animated one they're like yep that's a plumbing outfit they've just got <laughs> dungarees you know you're looking at lee right now <laughs> that's what a plumber looks like <laughs> to be fair though if, if lee'd come dressed up like that to come and come to come to do my pipes i'll would, I would be like oh fuck <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what have I let myself in for? <laughs> but yeah, um, but they try to tie everything up nicely as well because, th- like, when uh, Dennis Hopper's Cooper goes into the real world because on the merge, he shoots mm-hmm. the big bad gangster with the ray gun and Diavol Diavol gun, sorry, and he and he turns into a monkey. So then it, it kills off the gangster element that's in the real world, and <laughs> then, then then they pull the, uh, something goes wrong and the and the stock at home back to. Dino Land or Mushroom World, wherever the where oh. the fuck. Before they go back, though, it's worrying that they turn that guy into a monkey, and the crowd all just laugh like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> <they're laughs> <into a> <laughs> like <laughs> shit, like that could happen to all of us." <laughs> the poor guy, like, yeah, I know the mob element's gone, but dude. Did- Daisy doesn't come back, no. so who cares? Yeah. And he's not even—he's not even a monkey in a movie that goes on about de-evolution and stuff so much. It's like that's an ape, my friend. It's not, a, not a monkey. That was a chimpanzee. Like he couldn't even get that right. Yeah. Um, but no, like you're right. I'm, I'm just thinking now when you said dinosaur land, because like that's kind of what Mario World is. You're on mm. like Dinosaur Island. It's like, did they mix everything up? Like, mm-hmm. did, did they mix up the Mushroom Kingdom with like, oh, this is like, the the, the next game is in Dinosaur Land or whatever. And they're just like, like Lee says, they just wrote the script from like vague <laughs> words they found. I wonder if they thought, <laughs> this is going to be a franchise. We're going to make a, a multiple movies out of this. And like... Oh, they did, because there's a post movie stinger, like, yeah. Yeah, like cliffhanger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the cliffhanger, fucking hell! Uh, oh, what was the cliffhanger? Oh, I know you you zoned out, did you? <laughs> so badly you missed the um, like Daisy, Daisy comes back like dressed like Sarah Connor. And she's oh like, no, I saw that. And it was Luigi, like three you, you gotta weeks get back later. Here. <laughs> she, it took her three weeks to fuck everything up. You're not gonna believe what's happened. <laughs> oh, but did any of you see the end credit scene? I can't remember. Possibly, what happens? The, it's Spike and um, oh, Spike I'm gonna and. Gonna make a game Iggy. after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and they're like super Spike Bros and yes. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I want this so badly now because even Anthony was like, "Whoa!" The, like Mario was doing the end credit scenes before Marvel even knew what they were. <laughs> it no, it 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 absolutely was reserved for the worst movies back in the day, and yeah. Marvel somehow spun it into like. No, this is oh, really? this is proceed like yeah, because there's one in Street Fighter. I think there's one in Masters, the of, Masters the universe, of the Universe. Yeah, because Skelter's in the water going ah, here on. Um, yeah, you've got Mac and me done a question mark saying, "Is this Godzilla. the end?" Yeah, the Godzilla one with the Broderick Godzilla. There's like an egg that's left over at the end that starts mm-hmm. hatching. I, which turned into the before. cartoon Godzilla, by the way, if anyone wants to know the deep oh. lore. <laughs> the, the Godzilla from the cartoon is that egg. <laughs> yeah, mate. Well, I, I think just the 90s wanted something more. Or I don't yeah. know if the studio thought they were going to get something different or if if the directors just didn't have a clue what they were doing and just went, oh, uh, no, I think this is what people wanted in the 90s yeah. and the thought we've got to try and make things realistic mm. instead mm-hmm. of what the video games are like which are the, they have done a reasonably good job of that with this film mm-hmm. like there is things where you can see they've took like special care to try and make it a realistic version of what would have been there like the mushroom kingdom you yeah. wouldn't have giant mushrooms mm-hmm. um you would it, it, it's just fungus yeah um lee you sound like little... a really fun guy <laughs> there's there's no. little details that they've put in that I think 
<laughs> that it's like, oh, wow, that's that's really clever of them. Mm-hmm. Unless it's like a mistake. Like uh, at the beginning, the egg hatching and mm-hmm. Daisy mm-hmm. coming out, they've, they've hidden the baby's belly button with a bit of eggshell yeah. or like something like that because the baby wouldn't have a belly button because it wouldn't have an umbilical cord and it's like yeah mm-hmm. oh they've actually thought about this so they mm-hmm. have put thought into mm-hmm. everything in the mm-hmm. film it's just the delivery and i can't <laughs> i can't pinpoint one thing in the film that makes it a bad film overall it's just a lot of things put together that don't fit together and i i can't I can't pinpoint what it is. That yeah. I, I think the <laughs> best way I can describe it is I people know. who people who aren't fans of the original content or mm-hmm. aren't knowledgeable of the original content making something that they think or interpreting what they think they would like from that content. So it's kind of like getting me to make, say, a doc- an episode of Doctor Who. I, yeah. would make an, you, mm, I would make yeah. an episode of Doctor Who what I think I would enjoy, not necessarily mm-hmm. what the fans or the world well, wants to say. Or, or would or would you not take it seriously and be like, ah, look, it's Doctor Who and he's got his like his <laughs> stupid giant screwdriver. <laughs> 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 and the, like that's that's maybe what they did. They're like, oh, this Mario stuff's not serious. Let's like make something like mm. make our own vision and like mm. they're not actually like Mm-hmm. Like like you say, they don't know it well enough to even do a faithful version. They just I don't yeah. know. It's it's mm-hmm. it's so I, weird. I think it's still a fun film. It's, yeah, yeah, it is. It's not it's not Mario. That's all. I'll tell yeah. you. I'll tell you what what is fun about it. Because like in the in the nineties, like to make movies, like you know eighties nineties whatever, you had to actually try. Like there is actually yeah. camera work here. There's mm. like like we're saying. There's costumes. There's like you know physical sets like like hundreds of extras and stuff like like there is people who were trying it's mm-hmm. just like like did the directors mess it up is the script like terrible but mm-hmm. like it around the production there's people like that are actually trying like because mm-hmm. it's their job yeah. um and i think like the final scene like when well not the like the final one where cooper like gets blown up or whatever like the energy on that set is actually good and i'm wondering like is that legit like was this about to be the cut from the movie and they're like this is mm. the final scene everyone were almost free <laughs> like everyone go wild and have a big party in the streets like mm. I, like i love the energy at certain points yeah. and i think it's because everyone is actually there in that warehouse yeah. or whatever it is um like that's probably the highlight like the personal yeah. like touches and conversations but anytime there's like a monster or a special effect nearby it just like takes everything away from this <laughs> also, was, was there any bad acting in this film no i can't think of anyone that did a bad job I d- watching I, it today i didn't feel like i think was. daisy's a bit rubbish yeah. and like I, like was almost not really my style like no. he seems and, <laughs> like he doesn't it? know where he is half the time and i can't remember what i can't pronounce uh, John Thingy's last name. John Leguizamo. Leguizamo, I think. But did this launch his career? No. No. Not really. It kind of set him back a few years. Yeah. It really hard. Yeah, John John was doing fine before this. Um, (laughs) Yeah, because he's like... anything before that, but... uh, He's not really, like, super big over here. But yeah, like, I I I was chatting before, he had, like, a horrible, like, comedy sort of... Mm-hmm. Freddy got fingered thing called the pest. Like, I guess it it was more like a, um, a Polly Shaw type of character who's just the oh most God, annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a movie where the main character is the most annoying person in the world. Yeah. <laughs> we Even to... though Biodome's really funny, but I still kind of stand no, that. Much. They're no, not the funny. No. No. But he, <laughs> he has gone on to have a pretty established career despite yeah. being in. But yeah, yeah. But, Mario. But, but how many years did it take him to get out of that? Because he's done some terrible stuff as well like I, i'll be honest like the spawn movie is trash but he yeah. plays a good part as the clown um mm-hmm. like I said i think his career only start getting revitalized when he start doing um like say some of the action movies where he was a bit part player but then he's becoming mm-hmm. more established or he was always known as like oh yeah there's that guy from that film that he played yeah. a part in type thing, but he... he's a really good drag queen as well. Yes, <laughs> nice. And, and to go back to what Lee was saying, like, like when, like, saying that they were making this, like, oh, they want to make a live action gritty version because that's what they think audiences want. Like, 
I don't know if any audience ever wanted like a kid friendly sort of realistic mm. action movie because like I can't think of any of those that are good. Mm -hmm. But like, can you imagine if this had like the energy of like a RoboCop or something? <laughs> like if it was <laughs> like I'd, you maybe you maybe have to air on like a Commando like a fifteen certificate or something like you know something a bit yeah. less like but a Die Hard. But can you imagine if it was like? an action movie rather than like whatever this genre is I'm yeah not really would, would it have been more successful if like if it had blood and blood splattered <laughs> cooper instead of just turning into slime at the end is more like a blob man from robocop getting hit by the van well <laughs> also like i think you expected like a fight with a dinosaur like yeah. that's what it's leading up to the whole movie and you don't really get, get anything no <laughs> I think with a lot of it, um, and again, it's a transition, transitional period in in yeah. movies, not just with this one. Because if you think about, it, you're going from the eighties, like a lot of dark live action horror, like movies, like yeah. if you talk about, like say, uh, uh, Never Ending Story, Labyrinth, and and stuff like that. Then you're going from like action movies like RoboCop, uh, and we've then we start moving into more colorful and more cgi films like in jurassic park and stuff like that mm. but to get there we had to go through uh, say, the, uh, masters of the this. universe um mario brothers uh the crow um like not like comic book adaptations with different type mm. of dark tones and the, mm. trying to find the fate like street fighter mortal kombat um because mm. Gaming become huge late 80s, early 90s, so people were trying to say how to get that franchise into this. Mm -hmm. And it like like the like the CGI wasn't at the stage where we got Sonic now. Like we would if we got the Sonic back in the nineties, fuck, that would have been terrifying. That would it be would one of the had... most scariest thing I've ever seen. Like I think the problem they ran into was like, okay, if you had to do this Mario movie well. Mm -hmm. you'd have to do it like who framed roger rabbit where mm -hmm. it's like and you know yeah. i'm not just saying that i'm not just saying that because of bob Hoskins. yeah no no i get what you mean like it should have been like mario in the real world like as a cartoon mm -hmm. or something and that's the joke like oh you know he's getting up to trouble and stuff like that <laughs> like and all yeah. the characters have been let loose but mm -hmm. that obviously costs <laughs> a hell of a lot of money like Zoom much money and if you do it bad you end up with toon world <laughs> and oh, everyone definitely. gets nightmares hey there's nothing wrong with toon world <laughs> but if you think about it as well if you the cartoons that were coming out at the time um mm -hmm. they were either oh, it was like x-men and stuff wasn't it yeah. <laughs> but um but like cartoon movies like we had the disney movies and then we had like yeah. the movies like fern gully or all dogs go to heaven oh, so it's it's, it's not really like the animation doesn't really fit what a Mario yeah. thing because you imagine if there's a Mario it would be like a little bit warped, a little bit creepy, um, not yeah, quite too, comfortable. too much like too much movement, and yeah, ah, mm. uh, yeah, I think like. I think like we've, we've all sort of touched on they just, they just made this at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to like think too much into your comments, Jake, about uh, like. I can't remember where I was going with that, but like the, the <laughs> violence in the movie. Oh, the Robocop thing, sorry. Yeah, yeah it was like, if it was a fun uh, action movie, yeah. There is, there's no violence at all in this movie, really. is there? And I don't know mm -hmm. if that's like uh, oh, yeah. influenced because of things like Turtles had complaints mm -hmm. from like parents about there being violence. Nobody throws a punch or anything, do they? And um, no. Bob Hoskins and Luigi get bopped out of the head before that steals Daisy. I think Big I think Bertha like more. throws them as well, doesn't she? But that's yeah. about it. And they don't, they Bertha can't, smacks they can't even that. kill yeah, then. Cooper by just turning him into slime. They have to turn him into a dinosaur first. Yeah. Because I think it would have been too much turning a man into slime. And I, and I didn't remember this of a, a 90s dance where, like, say, when you dance a woman in the 90s, your hands and face go all over her. So it wasn't very comfortable. Oh god, yeah, he has to get the thing. He has to get the thing out of my cleavage, doesn't yeah. he? He's like, oh. <laughs> I was so expecting when they're in that nightclub for a dance, like, a, like a choreographed dance with Luigi we and one. Mario. Oh they well, didn't really do anything. They were just chucking the crystal backwards and yeah, forwards, okay. and I'm like, well, the, people did walk the dinosaur though. They did. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, like, oh, again, what question, a tune. But question for that: It's a different world. It's a different, yeah. different, like different universe. How is <laughs> how is there a, 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 like I say a, a song from this universe that's transcended over there to do walk the dinosaur? 
Yeah, and would um, they even call themselves dinosaurs, or yeah. is that like no, they wouldn't. For them? <laughs> like, yeah. That's quite disrespectful for them, really, because I mean, they had no problem calling us mammals all the time. Did yeah. you see the movie posters <laughs> on the walls and that about the uh, attack of the mammal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Revenge of the mammal. It's <laughs> oh. kind of what happened, as far as Cooper's concerned. <laughs> and... The design work of Cooper though was fantastic. The what do you think hair. of his hair? I <laughs> loved his hair. To it's be fair, I'm not looking at it the eyes of a of a kid who likes yeah. Mario. I'm just like You've he does got really have three cool spikes on his head. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he just I think uh, the problem we've got now is Donald Trump's just modelled himself on President Cooper. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm blaming Cooper. Cannon and President Cooper. <laughs> they were like, what a combination! <laughs> yeah. Do you think anyone could pull that the Cooper hair off though? Like, Lee. I'm surprised there hasn't been. Lee. <laughs> I'm surprised there hasn't been people at Comic Con just walking around in a suit with that hair, and then everyone's like, ah. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really surprised there's not a lot of like um, cosplay people out there who are doing Cooper because he's an ideal like candidate for yeah. a cosplay character. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think that there's that many people. Well. I don't think there's that many people that's seen this movie. To be fair, that's um, so no. disappointing. <laughs> It would just be me pointing at them. <laughs> like I said, this is probably the most exposure that Mario's had in like probably 15 years since it came out. It is Aww. interesting because it didn't really, like when the new movie came out, n nobody was like, like there was a few people talking about this movie and saying like it's a bit of a, it's like, I wouldn't say like an unsung gem, but it's like, like we were saying, like, there's some effort put into this. Like, mm -hmm. this doesn't just happen. Like, you know, people had to do really hard work to make this thing happen. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, I didn't see much of a renaissance. Like, people going back to it. Like, everyone's just happy to leave it. Like, yeah. back in the 90s. Nobody's really got, like, fond memories. Or, say, like, when you mention Masters of the Universe, all of a sudden, yeah. everyone who, see, like, talks about it now is saying, oh, yeah, I used to love that movie. It's like, no, mm -hmm. you didn't. That's bullshit. Yeah. No one loved the movie back then. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, say, I was <laughs> actually scared of it. Um, yeah. Skeletor, I, like, freaked me the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, and I, I don't, like, as a kid, I was like, oh, Dolph Lundgren kind of creeps me out as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like He-Man he he was my guy. Like, I knew He-Man before I knew anything else. And yeah. that actually terrified me watching it so yeah they're just fucking liars I didn't, like, uh, I didn't like he man and that's just because it was like oh no that's the guy that killed apollo creed <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's totally evil oh see i didn't get that reference i only watched rocky like about 10 years ago or something <laughs> i'm just thinking lee, lee are you coming on the masters of the universe episode oh i hope so um... I think so. I'm sure I'm done for it. I I'm looking forward to the cosplay for that episode. Um. Oh. oh my god, don't leave. Get the baby think... oil out. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a f there's a few movies tonight we've mentioned that we are going to do again, and I hope it's us for who's doing it, because I love it when we when we get together I and talk I'm, about like, I'm these not the kind. I'm not the Masters of the Universe guy, I'm afraid. Um, like, oh, no. I, that, when I saw that movie, it was like, you know, on like sunday afternoon television yeah. like when i was a child and i was like i hate this what is it like what, what's happening it's street fighter we're together street for street fighter, fighter. yeah we're, i'm yeah. so i love it when we get together and do these kinds of films i honestly come away from this podcast like so happy and like smiley face oh, Even yeah. Yeah. Cheer, about... love. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i, I just mean because i love this like this type these this era of movies, I'm starting to appreciate. It's super it interesting, enjoy. isn't it? Because mm -hmm. it like mm -hmm. like like Paul's been saying, it's like in the crossover period before CGI was good enough. Yeah, but they were trying. <laughs> they kept on. They kept on putting it in. And I missed a lot of these movies growing because up. Because you were smart. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if smart's the right word. Because your parents cause liked you. <laughs> they wanted to spend my... time with you and not put you in my front parents, of a TV. I was really fucking spoiled. Um, <laughs> Because I got me on we all the time when it came down to what we watched. But... Like, oh, let's not watch Ghostbusters again. Sammy's gonna cry. We've gotta put the ghosts on. <laughs> put it oh, on. Yeah. They're like, oh, can we go to the cinema? Like, oh no, there's only one showing of Super Mario every night for the, the entire week. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> it was always interesting when you used to go at the old ABC because you only used to have three or four films on, and uh, not Sometimes like the most. I'm sure it was two. Like, you Is know, that like... the one in Sunland on the corner? Yeah, I you, can never you, remember. It. Yeah, you used to have two showings that were kid friendly. And yeah. the possibly of an eighteen or a fifteen. Yeah, so, okay. So they used to. I think um, by the time I went uh, one time, because I, I went one Saturday and one Sunday, 
I saw Free Willy on one Saturday and the Power Rangers this this uh, this on the Sunday. Then were the type yeah. of movies that were released around the same time. But what was can you remember? Like this is just like a vague memory I've got. But like when I saw Power Rangers, I felt like it was on a really small screen. Did they have like a tiny screen in there? Like the, for the, the the worst movies that nobody wanted to watch. It did, but Power Rangers wasn't on the ABC. It was on the old Empire Cinema around yes, the corner I from the. <laughs> That's where that's... I saw the Turtles 3. Yeah. That's why I thought it was a different place. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I, we did have to go to a different place to watch Power Rangers. Cause I think did you that sit was... on the floor? I can't remember. But I think that was the level of, like, like they knew that was mm-hmm. going to be, like, bad. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was so happy when I went to see Power Rangers. And my only memory of it is coming out. And my dad just being so disappointed that he had to sit through that two hours. Oh, no. You know when we like, you know, um, you know when Pokemon the first movie came out, um, my, one of my aunties drew the short straw of taking like like all of us, like me and my cousins, and I just remember our face when like the first 15, 20 minutes of the movie is no human talking; it's just all Pokemon, <laughs> and then she was just asleep after that. It was just like you can oh. feel the disappointment though. Can't you? Like when you're a kid. I've never, I've never really thought about like my parents, like <laughs> their kind of point of view as they're leaving something that I've just yeah. wanted to watch. I've never really paid attention to that. Whereas I mean, there was the highs of like going to see Aladdin, yeah. and Lion King. <laughs> or, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember going to, coming out of Hook, and my mum was like absolutely buzzing her tits off on that one. But yeah. we went to see, we we went to see Turtles Three at the Empire, and I remember having like a lot. There was like. Seats for adults, but kids had to sit on cushions. Okay. So that's, that's how I remember it. It's just and my poor mum sat the, through that. So I think during the day, the Empire didn't used to make as much money as it did now with shows and stuff. So you used to put the, the, right. the screen on just to make some extra money. Because I remember some of the not-so-big movies, like the Tom and Jerry cartoon was shown there. <laughs> oh, I fucking uh, love that film. <laughs> um, like, um, I hate that movie. What I love talk. it so much. I, I was lucky though that was the thing because I, I will probably tell this story when I do the Trekking episode with Goodwill when we talk about generations because my dad's a big Tom and Jerry fan and we went to see the Tom and Jerry at the Empire mm-hmm. and we were late so that's already started so we're like oh sorry uh, you're late for the show and so we walked around the Empire uh, the old ABC to yeah. see what was on and it was Star Trek Generations so yeah. so I managed to talk my dad into letting us to see that because I was a big Star Trek <laughs> f- movie fan I used to love it so my dad was like alright then so I was over the moon seeing uh, Generations on the big screen uh, with Kirk and Picard and I fucking loved it it was your dad and he, and sat he... there being like no, Tom and Jerry <laughs> 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 Sneak cat and mouse. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, the amount of times I've had arguments. But my dad's a Star Trek fan, but he, he, he would have Jerry preferred... would have lamped him, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he preferred uh, the mouse, the little mouse, and the, and the cat. But yeah. yes, um, Jerry would have lamped him. <laughs> so like, let's let's have some, for comedy value. Uh, if you're going to rate this film out of five, mm-hmm. yeah. so we'll okay. go with we'll go with Super Mario Lee. Uh, what are you going to rate this out of five? Oh, somewhere between a three and three and a half. Right. Oh, that's quite high, I think. Uh, explain <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I, I love this film. It's right. a really good film, like Aww. I said. It's just like, there's something about it where it's like, I can't point my finger on what the bad thing is. Mm-hmm. Because I can't point it out. It's just, I still enjoy the rest of the film. Right, okay. So it's, There is some... Good way of looking at it. There's some plot holes, but everything has plot holes nowadays. So. Mm-hmm. As we discovered earlier on today, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it it didn't stay longer than it needed to. That's what that, that's the credit I'll give it. <laughs> yes, um, it, it 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 is like breakneck at a certain point where you're just like, oh, they're over here now, now they're over here. <laughs> how does Luigi still manage to get the girl after the first date? Where it's like, oh, let's go to this nice fancy Italian restaurant, and everyone's all dressed up, and he shows up in his hoodie and his t-shirt. And... Yeah, and as they're <laughs> walking out, they're like, "If you want to walk away from this now, I'll understand." And say, like, "Walk yeah. away from what? <laughs> you have just been to dinner." <laughs> Relationships in the nineties were pressurized. Like, say, you had to fall in oh, love, and, yeah. and um, <laughs> he was yeah. he was unlucky in love as well. That was the whole little backstory for him. <laughs> I never found the right person. He was only about ten. <laughs> yeah, he was a was ten. Just... I did love the program he was watching though throughout the whole parallel universe oh, yeah. one, and then he ended up being on it as well. And it's like a full on explanation <laughs> of it. And he's like, and I call them 
Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like Ghostbusters, isn't it? Where they finally get like the video at the end, <laughs> like people taking them seriously. <laughs> so we, so we haven't brought up there's there's a disgusting line in this film, and I can't remember what it is. There's um, a lot of disgusting lines all the way through the film. It's Cooper says something like, No no girl forgets the first time they were licked by a lizard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He oh, does. He's got his seat. Right on oh. that one. <laughs> oh, Brady Cooper! He got, dr- yeah. he got drunk and ad libbed that line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway, I know we'll keep that in just for lols. It's uh, vague enough that lols. we can get away with it. It's like literal. <laughs> oh. Just for lols. What about you, Jake? What would you rate this one out of five? Um, two stars, one for each brother, <laughs> because <laughs> because their their little like like you know relationship together is actually good and mm-hmm. like you know he's like like bob hoskins is like surrogate father mario <laughs> i think that that dynamic hasn't really been played out much yeah. <laughs> ever again <laughs> what about you like sammy that. i'm gonna say two and a half all right because i i did there's some moments in it that i did thoroughly enjoy i love bob hoskins in this and i think Bob Hoskins and Dennis Hopper's performances is really what's keeping it mm. that score where it is because I I genuinely feel like they were fucking trying yeah like they had so much put up against them but they still did their jobs they, that's they just what good actors this that's what just what good actors do like you pay an actor to be a character mm-hmm. like whether or not they like the script or not yeah. <laughs> I just I, I just feel like the, the they did such a great job. Like Bob Hoskins, I mean, I could watch him in, mm-hmm. I mean, not now, but I can watch him in anything. I was going to say, that's a bit grim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'd, I'm trying to think, because I don't think I give Orgasmo a Be kind a and be rewind. I, I don't think I give, <laughs> I give Orgasmo a rating. I think if, I, like, if we're going on like... It's a whole <laughs> star better than Orgasmo. Yeah. I think Orgasmo got, will yeah. go for one star, or half a star. I, I, I can't even give Lower. Orgasmo a full star, so it's a half Lower. a star. Um, no, I, I, I give Orgasmo half a star because it didn't exploit women. It was more exploiting of the men in the, in the sex industry. So I, I think that was an interesting take, but um, <laughs> that that's the only credit I'm going to give Orgasmo. Um, Thank you. Ooh. I would probably say this was probably the second worst movie we have reviewed. <laughs> oh, yes. no. So I'll probably just give it I'll give it a star. I give it a full star just for Bob Hoskins, and I think he makes it because I, I, anything Bob Hoskins does or did, I love, and he was in one of my favorite films in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um, mm-hmm. I'll never like diss him for anything he does, but yeah, this was a hard watch. I, I found little joy in this movie. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but that's not. But that's down to my personal taste. That, that yeah. I don't think. But that's I, not. That, I'm not going to slag slag it off. Um, I'm happy about this because the more bad reviews we do, the <laughs> further Lord of the Rings goes up your list. <laughs> oh, I, I, to be fair though, yeah. no, no, have I ever said Lord of the Rings is a bad movie? Or does it just I, I just not, said I just don't enjoy it. Movie. I just don't enjoy it. Um, I'll tell you what though, like you guys with this whole like half star system, you've made this into a ten point scale, which flies in the <laughs> oh. face, which flies in the face of the five star system. Yeah, just saying. Oh, okay. right. I've never then... given a half star. Right. <laughs> I don't think I have either until now, so I'll drop it down. I'll just say two. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, yeah. it's bra- it's braver to be like because you can't give a half you can't that's say true. like yeah. half. No, it's, def- it's, 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 like it's, it. it's definitely a one star. Um, I I did find uh, Rob Zombie's monsters more into- enjoyable. So if we talked about the ratings of the films that we watched. Um, you are really going back over the bad ones, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> just, just trying having to... flashbacks. Yeah. But to be fair, we've not really reviewed that many films that we've like. That would find difficult. I know the terrifiers. Again, I can't give a star for. I wouldn't give a star to them because I just because it's like too unpleasant. Yeah. it's not because yeah. it's bad. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah, just uh, wait it, until we do never ending story. It's all it's all the films that that me and Lee pick that have ended up being the worst ones that you've seen. No, wait there. Which which other one was a good one that you used? Well, I mean, uh, I, I mean, some of them are upcoming as well. Uh, so the, the, tur- yeah. the turtles, the, turtle the turtles ones was one of the, one of my highlights. Mm. Uh, I do enjoy Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat's going to be entertaining as fuck. Because uh, we're not, not, not going to touch an annihilation. I'm sorry, we can't talk about I've annihilation. I've not seen I love either annihilation. of them. Too. I think Sammy would love annihilation. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my prediction. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're just gonna have a I'm not gonna, I love honestly, I love doing movies like it's this. It's a direct sequel because the T is Shao Kahn at the end in the same way that the T is oh. something at the end of this movie. Well, <laughs> what was the one that came out during lockdown? Was that a Mortal Kombat one? That was just like MK that was a good that was a good Mortal Kombat movie. That, that was I enjoyed I really enjoyed that. Mm. Yeah. Um there's but, a sequel coming up and it's got Carl Urban in as well. Yeah. That's Johnny Cage. Yeah. Hey, King of the Nerds. <laughs> the old ones are nothing like that. <laughs> no. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> but talk about something Look forward to. Talking about Mortal Kombat as well, because before they brought out the new movie, they did like an internet short where they had like five minute like videos where it showed uh, different fights or different characters going through. Yes. It. That was really well done. So if you can find them, they and are there was energy. like there was like a, a a secret pilot one where not unlike the Mario Brothers movie, they were like, how can we make a real world version of Baraka? He's like an evil dentist who's changed his teeth into fangs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. But they are, I would watch that. Definitely. So yes. <laughs> I, um, I don't know what it is, but I'll watch it. Lee, do you want, have you got anything else you want to say about the movie you love? No. Um, I just want to point out, this has been such a short podcast. We're an hour and a half in, and the first half an hour was X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> That's how little we have to say about Mario. Says it all, really. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, though, I'm not going to, like, shit on it, but very little stuff actually happens in the movie to talk about. Like, the only other yeah. things we haven't mentioned is somehow the dino world is all based in this one little city where the whole mm-hmm. over the world is a desert. So yeah. that... that that tracks um <laughs> like no one thought to like like move or broaden the horizon is that um, because in mario 3 the second land is a desert though and then the the stop playing the game and they're like well there's nothing past that <laughs> possibly <laughs> and, and the other thing is so, somehow they've said that the meteorite that destroyed the world hit brooklyn so yeah yeah uh, Split it in two. Well, yep. we were all part of, what is it, Pangenea, <laughs> the giant <laughs> continent we used to be. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, but... I will give a shout out to Luigi's uh, amazing attempt at an alibi to get out of being arrested. Where it's like the guys see the uh, tools and it's like, look, there's the two plumbers. And he's like, uh, I'm not a plumber. I'm just his apprentice. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. that, that's going to fly. <laughs> Let your off, he's just, he's just an accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> But how, many, but the real criminal. how many plumbers must have got arrested on that though as well? Because like we oh, need to arrest the plumbers. Which plumbers? Every plumber. And I, I was Just... plum- I was plumbers saw that like niche in that world that nobody like does plumbing and anything like that. Mm-hmm. I, no, I didn't even I think mean... they'd know what a plumber was. I mean, the character Mario very rarely does anything plumber related other than going up and down pipes mm. until you get to like some of the RPGs where like, they make jokes out of it, like Mario, go fix the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mario doesn't fix anything in his games, early but, games. But anyone, like any kind of thing where Americans took over, like the cartoons and stuff, they like hyper fixated on the plumbing element. <laughs> like, it was just like, he's a plumber, <laughs> therefore. He needs to like do jokes and actually carry a wrench around, and the games are just like, I don't, we don't care about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He, doesn't, he doesn't get it. Do any plumbing in the film, does he? Does he? He it's fixes, yeah. the, he fixes yeah. the pipe. It's because the, 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 the ground's like filling up with water, and they would all die if he didn't like get rid of the and water. That's it. Yeah, he doesn't carry that tool bed around for nothing, you know. It's because the Scapellis burst the water pipe so that it ruins the archaeological dig, and then he like saves it, and then that like makes the dinosaur portal open again. I feel like the Scapellis were an (laughs) unnecessary thing in the film. It was like set up at the beginning, like they were the rivals. Yeah, they go to a job and it's like the Scapellis have beat us to it again. Yeah, no, I like that though. Like how like the rundown, like like you know, on the ass, like. The Scapellis mm-hmm. don't get mentioned at all through the film, apart from like, oh, it's their fault that the mm-hmm. things happened, and then he gets turned into a monkey. And like, <laughs> that could have been anything. Let's let's be honest, like, there was the, no the, rivalry. The, the whole movie wasn't unnecessarily made, but yes, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, they, 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 they put that element in the new movie as well. Like, there's like a rival. Like construction guy oh, no. who's like actually from a different video game, Wrecking Crew and stuff. So like, with I don't know if they're meant to, but in the new one they took elements from this one. Even the whole Mario like lives in Brooklyn gets like took through to the Mushroom Kingdom by, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
uh, they referenced it, whether it was intentional or this is just the only idea that scriptwriters can come up with for how to do Mario. <laughs> I do think we should have Chris dressed up as Luigi now. We've got uh, got Lee as, yeah. as Mario. So Chris, Third Fest is coming up. <laughs> yeah. So Chris, exactly. you, you better be in cosplay as Luigi, and uh, we'll get Sammy to dress up as Goth Pin Peach. Uh, I have I have got a question which might be worth asking. Where do you th- what do you think was the deal with the Peach scene at the end? What could the sequel have been if they did get the green light for it? Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, what the hell were they thinking? Like. So, like I said, she looked like Sarah Connor, like she'd been through like some war, mm. as if like more time had passed down there than up it, here. I was going to say it was three weeks. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, like where were they going with it? Like what? Like I, just, I can't even think. Like based on the games, like it's just Bowser comes back. Oh, or like were they, oh, are they going to try and be like someone else is trying to take over the world down there? I'll go old school. I've Donkey Kong from barrels at them. I was, might I was say, I'd like to think the mob try and break into the other world and, <laughs> and use then the that's machine on Donkey Kong. Oh, eyes, and that's Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey oh wow. <laughs> that's so much better than anything they were going to write, I'll guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this is why Hollywood needs to take notice of this podcast because we've got so many good ideas that could make them money. So, Did you notice in like have you guys all seen the new anim- animated one? I haven't not yet. Yeah, cuz well, like th- thinking of it now, they also do the end of Godzilla 98 thing with mm-hmm. a Yoshi egg at the end. <laughs> like it's the same after the credit scene. <laughs> oh <Not> really? <laughs> I think I think there were big fans of 90s movies the people who made that new one. <laughs> <laughs> Secret references. Oh, so many different things. But I, I wouldn't say no. I know we've had the uh, like I say the cartoon, but I wouldn't be too offended if they did try and make another live action Mario now because I do think they they can probably make it interesting but again probably we're not the target audience for it anymore type thing it would be no. like say quite childlike but I think like I think the best thing they could do if you want to like honor this movie's idea the best thing would be to do like a comic book that is the sequel to this because I think like that would give like that that takes the bad acting out of the equation. Like mm-hmm. you can just draw it. You can just write your your fan fiction. Dark Horse will publish it or yeah. IDW or whatever. Um, and yeah, you can have your Super Mario Brothers meet the the Bob Hoskins <laughs> brothers and stuff like that. Uh, I would read it if they did like the whole fan fiction element because like you know how there was those like realistic Flintstones comics where it's like yeah like where Fred and Barney are like in Vietnam <laughs> like and stuff like that oh my god that's so with bleak. the little turtle shell <laughs> helmets he's like we're going to genocide Barney <laughs> like that's a line in the comic <laughs> Jesus Christ that's so grim <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we could have like say the Super Smash Brothers uh, crossover where Mario starts start taking over. Start fighting other like yeah. nintendo characters and stuff like that but um, that's probably gonna have to be where the movies go at some point because the sonic movie's got to cross over with mario at some point mm. yes so well. i think we've done well to discuss mario for over an hour now so <laughs> <laughs> but yes yeah. um I, see, I was looking forward to this one, even though I Me wasn't too. looking forward to the movie. The movie was a hard watch, but it was interesting <laughs> to talk about. At least uh, you can go on your phone now. Like, I had to sit in the cinema and pay full attention to this on a giant oh, screen. You couldn't move <laughs> away. <laughs> oh, I wasn't taking my eyes off the screen. I was like, if I if I miss anything, or there's got to be some nuance to this that I'm not getting. But no, it, it, it wasn't no. quite there. Um, but yes, so... So thank you everyone who's watched and put up with our shit for the last uh, uh, hour on Mario there. I hope that you have got a new appreciation of the Super Mario Brothers and you and you punish yourselves as well by going and watching the movie. It's um, on Prime. Yes. Anyone who wants to watch it, it's on Prime. <laughs> yes. So what's tomorrow though, Sammy? Oh, tomorrow. Well, we want you to check into Motel Hell. <laughs> Talk about yes, another shit this... movie. <laughs> I don't think I would check into if that was the name. <laughs> well, it's Motel Hello with a okay. clever O knocked off it. Um, mm. We are doing the horror comedy from the 1980s. Um, it is an absolute gem of a movie. Ignore what Paul just said there. It is. A, <laughs> it is such a brilliant 
a brilliant film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I thoroughly and I hope you thoroughly enjoy our little chat on it. And we are on YouTube tomorrow at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on the dot. Um, but yes, it, basically the premise of this movie is a, a, a chainsaw wielding pig man. No, no. That's right. just what happens. The premise of this movie is a brother sister combo who um they kidnap hitchhikers to make them into their special meat. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a film about meat, guys. Yes. Adam will yeah. like it. <laughs> and it's 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 not just meat, hot dogs. So, yeah. is, so, is, so is this the birth so, of pork chimp now, is it? It sounds like the best thing ever. <laughs> it, honestly, Jake, it, when I saw the posters for it, I looked at it and went, what in the fuck is that? But then I, I'm, I've decided, because of how much I love the 80s Blob movie, I'm not doing that no more. I'm not judging something on an 80s poster. Mm -hmm. So I went and I watched it. Um, it is a complete satire movie. It is so fucking hilarious with a brilliant cast as well. Um, I hope you all tune in or mm. just go on, like if you don't just watch the movie, like it's so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> so, and um, Jake, are you will you be live this Wednesday? <laughs> yes, new time slot. New mm -hmm. channel, <laughs> same old <laughs> podcast. Um, yeah, we're doing our our uh, March ramble cast this Wednesday, where we'll be doing the roundup of all the the horrible video game news that's <laughs> happened this week. Um, there's yeah, there's been the the horrible toxic fandoms. It's been uh, going around oh, this no. week, not just in Ghostbusters, but uh, yeah. Um, and then if anyone wants to learn more about the plumber himself mario i did a giant mario marathon where i went through the first handful of games and got up to world um so if you want to see where all the inspiration from this movie came from i think i pretty much covered it and stopped <laughs> on the first <laughs> island of mario world where yoshi is and i think that's about where they got to, to in the research and um, it's so much fun I, I thoroughly enjoyed that stream so much that and i might great. as well keep going now i'm part way through mario world so i'll keep going then i'll hit 64 and then i'll hit sunshine and mm -hmm. cry for a while um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um still still on that nerdy up north twitch um yes. I wonder if Lee's got anything before his head expands many more sizes and the, the hat <laughs> kills Pops him. Off. <laughs> but I know we've got, well, we should have an episode of Gig, Gigs Up North going out on Thursday. Nice. So we'll probably be hearing about that this week. Um, also, we've got lovely Goodwill and Graham back on Friday. Mm -hmm. I don't know what episode they've done because I missed the end of uh, Trek and I need to catch up tomorrow. So we'll find out what episode they're doing. If Goodwill's in the chat, he could let us know. Um, <laughs> I think Goodwill checked out ages ago. <laughs> Goodwill's asleep. Um, so yes, they're live at half seven. And I, I know if you haven't already checked out Lee and Jake doing a, a Pokemon card pull on YouTube, on that's been uploaded. Uh, it was quite entertaining as well. Uh, even though I was just it. sending abuse to Lee, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you oh, like, if, you're with, if you like unboxings <laughs> and stuff like that, if you if you're a nosy bugger and you just want to see what's inside <laughs> of packets of things, then it's a perfect video. <laughs> cool. Excellent. And hopefully we will be getting more unboxes coming through soon because I'm going to try and make up unboxing with Lee a thing. Um, all, oh, it's in search of Spock. In so oh, excited. Oh, interesting. Yes. Um, on next Sunday, it's Empire Records, mm -hmm. isn't it? We'll be having yes. a Rex Manning day. So, yes. Oh, Rexy, you're so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Oh, just wait. Honestly, you could just put 50 pence in us and I will perform that movie for you from start to finish because I know the fuck up by heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Um... Just trying to think now if your brain stopped working. Yes. Um, well, all audio for the podcast from this week will be up on Tuesday. The schedule will be published for the following week on Tuesday on the Facebook page and on the Facebook community page. Uh, Lee, are you doing anything this week? Uh, no, well, if Gigs Up North's going out, uh, Kirsty will have the Thursday, so I'll not be on anything till the week after. So right. I think the next time anyone will see me is if they are at Nerdfest. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yes. yes, right. Yes, we are going to be at Nerdfest, so we'll be uh, throwing our nerdy selves around. But also, as well, um, 
if we've got a, a, a spare, well, if I've got any spare time as well, I will be jumping on Twitch playing some random games. I'll probably try and drag Leon with us as well if he's free uh, to watch us die a million times. Um, been, yeah. test, been testing out a few little things today as well. Um, you might see some very old retro games for me as well, so that could be quite exciting if I can get the fucking controller to work properly. But still. Um... Yeah, there's something <laughs> for everyone at yes. Nerdy Up North, and we put out content almost every day in some form uh we're grinding guys <laughs> it's, we're it's, really, I mean, we have covered every area really haven't it's, we it's working though like we are yeah. gaining followers like at a really really mm-hmm. awesome rate at the moment so mm-hmm. it's kind of like we're finally getting some nice recognition on the hard work yeah. we've been putting in for so long <laughs> certainly um i know as you said some of the content we put out is not going to be everyone but we've always got something for someone that's where i like mm-hmm. to put it um mm-hmm. i'm really happy with how the blues brothers episode done last week that's still yeah, getting fun. loads of views like um that's on course to be one of our highest it's... viewed episodes as oh, well God, and that's the episode lee hunt and mike yeah <laughs> go quick do do your super jump lee <laughs> oh, no. see, his, see his trousers just rip off um <laughs> But yes. Uh, poorly. Next week you'll be dressed up. Like... No, he brings it on himself now. He's done. He's done this multiple times. This is all on Lee. I, I like it how he held his crotch so he didn't whack his crotch off anything. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> well, it was Mike. It was just because it leaves nothing to the imagination. <laughs> just trying to have some dignity. <laughs> some <laughs> dignity, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> but yes, um, like I say, just again, love you guys, love you, everyone in the audience. Chris, I even love you, you little bastard. Um, so, yes, same bad time. Actually, just before I go, check mm-hmm. out our Ghostbusters review after you've seen Ooh, Ghostbusters. Okay. See what you see if we you agree with what I what we say. And again, fuck you, fandoms. And uh, <laughs> we hate you all. We hate you all. Um, <laughs> but, but watch, but watch our podcast, please. Listen to our podcast. Subscribe. Um, <laughs> yes. So, so same bad time, same bad channel. Stay nerdy, everyone. Bye. Bye. Don't the problem. <laughs> <laughs>